Cursed shall thou be in the city. Great evil shall be in the city for the black. Great And cursed shall thou be in the field. Where did the so called blacks live at? They live in the business. They live in the project, the ghetto. They, they get the worst health care. They got the high crime, crime weight. That's a great evil. It says, Cursed shall be in the what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Black people think I who picked tobacco That's a great evil. That's a great evil. Oh. And tobacco, right? Sugar cane. Right? The left picked that stuff too, right? Why not? You moved it. Bring it out. You're right. But who did that? The so-called black. I bet Roman did that. Native Indians. Those are the Israelites. Right. She's an Israelite, according to the Bible. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, the Indians were black when they were served as slaves. That name was put upon so called Indians. But they did his life according to the Bible. That's right. Read yes, that again. Cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed shall I be in the field. And I'm going to prove that. Read verse 37. I'm going to prove what I just said. Verse 37. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. God said, You Israelites going to become an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb. A wise old saying. What did he say about black folks? That's a proverb. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to read. I'm the teacher. Read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb in a byword read among all nations. Whether the Lord shall leave thee. Whether the Lord shall leave thee. Read that, right? A proverb in a byword. Shalom, sisters. Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right. You know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you, brothers and sisters, join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events Channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right. 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. Matthew 19 and 16. You so-called blacks, Spanish, and Native Indians, you gotta come back to God's, God's commandments to get eternal life. 
or you're going to die in your sin. Read the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Read on. And behold, one came and said to him. Hey, you want to turn life? How do, how do you get eternal life, brother? Oh, shit. No, I know you. What's the matter? No, my name's Boy. We always go to church, right? Okay. And they say, when you die, you're going to get eternal life. How do we get eternal life according to the Bible? Read the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Read it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good damn shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why thou art a word? Read it out. What is God? Read it out. What is God? 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 You want to turn life sentence? Read on. Keep the commandment. God says keep the commandment. You want to turn life sentence? You got to keep the commandment. What's your question? I'm asking. I help it. What y'all think I'm going to show you what. I heard y'all talking about it. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 1. Somebody said something like that. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Okay. I got to show, show you what the Bible says. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Read. Oh, woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to the man. Oh, oh, that's right. Neither shall a man put on a dress. That's why. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Yeah, yeah. sister, you cross dressing. Two. Women one. should not have on pants. That's why. Men should not have one. on a dress. That's right. Right. So many of our women are breaking that law today. It's called cross dressing. That's why. Back in 1950s, our women did not wear pants. Two. You look at the old slave movies, our women was in dresses. One. But one. today, during the time of 1950s of William Bloomer, whatever her name is, our women are in pants. Give me Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Look it up. You in pants because you follow the white man. That's right. And that's in the Bible too. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Read. In me thou not the oppressor. God says don't envy your oppressor. Who's oppressing you, black man, Latin man? That's right, your oppressor, the so-called white man. I'm gonna say it for you, because you're scared. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. God says don't envy your oppressor. Read it. And choose none of his way. God says don't choose none of the ways of the oppressor. God says don't choose none of the ways of your oppressor. So sisters, come out of those pants. That's what your oppressor is with. Because you envy your oppressor. Read it again. Envy not. The oppressor. God says, don't envy your oppressors. Read up. And choose none of his way. Read. For the forward is abomination to the Lord. Forward is abomination to God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.